I think Rodriguez and Vela a little bit more involved. Blackman's direct. He's very comfortable playing as a right back, and I think that's going to help LAFC going forward. It is a little bit of a surprise for you and I that Cifuentes is in the lineup. Maria missed it. Barco. Here's Martinez. into the second half. We've got Barco and Martinez in the same 11 for Atlanta United. Joseph Martinez and Atlanta United are at their best when players around him are playing vertically. They're playing in behind the opposition back line, and that's exactly what happens here. Mario tries to get a touch with that, but it's the vertical run from Barco that opens up the game. And that is a ball that Joseph Martinez will finish. You wanted a clue to the threats of DC. Well, we've seen it with Gressel and Paredes in his first couple of minutes. First corner of the game then in front of the back line from Gressel. And the header is in. The opening goal. DC United have stunned Nashville. And Brion has beaten Joe Willis. As they strike first. Uh, and Jack Mayer gets on the wrong side of Brion. Wonderfully disguised off the set piece. This is Godoy. Nashville pressing. They're looking for an equalizer. A good response from Gary Smith's side, who were shocked early on. And that's a pong. And it is 1 1. Kempin couldn't keep it out. The back line are on their feet, and CJ Sapong scores again his seventh goal of the season. It's patient. They go side to side probing, and then Paredes is late to step to lay out. Now Alistair Johnson back and starting for Nashville. Setting up Mukta via Lovitz, and Sapong is there again! Right now is playing the best football he's played in years. It's the awareness to understand the trajectory. Looks are again. He looks so threatening as he comes forward. They've given him room. He's done it. Great spatial awareness to get in between in the passing lane for Romney to find him. It's Lovitz that goes, and as he does, it just draws Brion a little bit out wide. Little peek over the right shoulder. I see you. There's the fake. Goes to the favorite right. It does take a deflection, so that's going to change the path of the ball. But Mukhtar is so confident. It's out of his feet. It's the deflection from Birnbaum, and everything is coming up, Hani Mukhtar. They will not change the approach. They will keep playing. They will keep the intensity going, whatever happens. And this is Kamara now to pull one back. His 11th goal of the season, beautifully supplied by Ariola. A five goal first half in Music City. It's Nashville three, DC United two. What a game. Multiple times already. Ola Kamara does as well. Look at the ball is hit with backspin never easy to travel in MLS. You want to lock in the home games while you can. Onunga threads in Lovitz. And this one will break for Muriel. That's a big goal. A second of the season for Alice Wheel. And Nashville lead 4-2 as we approach the final 10 minutes of the game. Kempin will be frustrated with himself. He'll expect better. But Alex Muriel his first goal of the season helped seal three points against the Revolution in the same goal. Has only conceded one penalty from the four that he's faced. He once saved two in one game. He now has to try and keep DC in this game. It's Alex Wheel. Scores! Five-two, Nashville. What a night! 
Smith needed to come on. Challenge put himself about. He got a big goal to make it 4-2. Wins the penalty and confidently steps up. Stojanovic, Gutierrez, beautiful layoff. Here's Bornstein. Gutierrez again. Brian Gutierrez, it takes a deflection. It's Stojanovic! He can't be stopped at the moment. Columbus calling for a handball here as it bounces up to Stojanovic here. Here's Alex rolled on. Rowe, first time ball in. Chance for Rui Diaz. Saved by Ivacic. Rebound held in by Christian rolled on. Zuperich couldn't deal with it cleanly. Back out it comes. Later on from Alex rolled on. Great pump fake on Bravo. Drew it across Ivacic the second time. And it's stabbed home. Freddy Montero has scored once again. More than a decade of goals for Montero against Portland. And the Sounders take the lead. And then it's Freddy Montero who reacts. Seattle already had numbers in and around the box. You have two killers in the box. Rui Diaz. Away in the middle. Joao Paulo on the run. His options either side. Joao Paulo for Freddy Montero. Montero looking for space. Let's it. Oh! The Seattle Sounders, again against the run of play, pick it up in the middle of the field. Great vision here from Joao Paulo. Just waits. Thought he was going to play to roll Don. Brings it up the field. And then look, Freddy Montero from there, outside the box, 18 yards. Still has a lot to do. Has two defenders in front of him. Says, okay, I'll cut back onto my left foot. And then, boom, pick out the top corner. Ivicic just gets that hand on it. Could he do better? Yes. But what a strike there from Montero, just wraps the left foot around it, and his second of the night, Seattle's second of the night. I'm hoping that the Timbers come back from this 2-0 uh, deficit, and uh, it is it is, a, it is a wonderful environment, and here we go. Well, here's Sebastian Blanco, a chance, it's deflected, it, it bounces in, there the Timbers is. have pulled one back. There it is. So as I was saying, right, is that what, is that what I'm supposed to say now? Is so as I was saying, <laughs> Hey, hey, Rodney, they want you to stay on the mic for this one. It takes it up over Stephen Cleveland. Great ball from Mora, and it's talking about it throughout this game. The runners off. Jimmy Charrett, driven ball. Blanco waiting for it. Montero got there first. Bravo from distance. Cleveland was there. see these up over the uh, the top of the bar gets over the top of it Rui Diaz is there as a right footed option it is Rui Diaz oh! who scores Than that. Madronda off the bench.
bench just takes it on the full volley there. Struck to the back post by Joao Paulo for his seventh assist on the season. These two teams, Portland and Seattle, represent the last six Western Conference champions. You got to go back to 2014 to find an MLS Cup didn't feature either Portland or Seattle. How about Ben? to think about it has a quick look over the assistant referee make sure he's onside now Cabral with Jovalic in front of him got a return at Cabral split it between the defenders Kevin Cabral a chance Cabral scores for the Galaxy one end of the field to the other and a chance to go top of the West with a win they take the lead late in the half Great ball from Efrain Alvarez to open up the field. Now look at the run. Recognizes where the space is. Debassi had stepped inside. So he said, okay, I'm going to run in behind. The back line was deeper. Kalman keeps him on side. Jovalich plays it into his path. Great weight on that pass as well. And then he has the finish. Get out of the way and let him take the penalty kick. Don't be jostling at the edge of the area. Clevala for the lead. one nothing. Red Bulls on top. Velocity, a little stutter step. Buries it as Brezza goes the other way. Middle of the park, over the head of Ambro Tower. Here comes Mason Toy. As Ibrahim with him, lays it off. Other side, Mihailovic. Slowed just enough by Kyle Duncan. Able to send this ball in. Ibrahim, tie game. The 18-year-old who's just entered a sub to level the match at one. Mason Toy, I thought Mihailovic ran out of options. That's just a great play. In a never-ending sequence here. For the win! Coronel got a piece, not enough! Montreal takes the lead. Who made up the laws of the game? So James Sands finds Tajuri Shradi. He has Anton Tenerholm wide right. Instead, Keaton Parks right up the middle. Tiago Andrade pushing to the edge of the area. Out wide to Tenerholm. Now finding Maxi Morales. Maxi will whip this one in. Tati Castellanos! New York City goes up 1-0. What a play and what a finish. Number seven on the season for Valentin Castellanos. The cross is edge perfect from the little genius. One look and how about that for a delivery? It is just absolutely spot on. He converted against Orlando. Matt Turner made a save against New England. Here's number three against Nick Marsman. Tati looking for his second tonight, and he puts it by New York City right before the half, doubles the advantage. It's 2-0, number eight for Valentin Castellanos. Makes him make this decision to just go for the cheeky Panenka. It's a beautifully taken penalty kick. When it goes wrong, it goes horribly wrong. Run back by Brandon By. He's got support from Buxer. This time it's across there towards Gustavo Ball. Then Juan Jones coming forward down that left side. Jones again. And a good header from Buchanan. Tejan Buchanan, the boy from Brampton, the Canadian international, scores. On his first appearance at Bebo Field. From the right boot of Dewan Jones. And Buchanan just meets this absolutely perfectly. What a header looping. So tell them. Alex Pozuelo. It's in for Osorio. Up to Rotto FC. Tie the game. And it's Jonathan Osorio with the goal.
So tell don't put swell. Then it's this little interchange here. Back to Alejandro Pozuelo and a great ball in Canera. Gustavo Bo has taken one penalty this season and he missed it. It's Bo against Bono. Gustavo Bo puts that one into the corner to give New England Revolution the lead just minutes after TFC had tied it up. And Gustavo Bo with the league leading 12th goal of the season. Brilliant. Just dispatches it, chooses his spot. Bono might get a little bit of a finger at that, but it's high enough and strong enough from Bo. Now it's slipped into space, and Kinda is trying to get the back line. And he plays a ball for a tight angle shot that goes in. Oh, wow. That is a goal for Sporting Kansas City. Alan Polito scoring for the first time against FC Dallas. First game he's played against FC Dallas, as a matter of fact. You know, that's, that's one for Shallowy there. It, it, sort of, it sort of broke everything down on that side. Kinda plays a nice little ball in. Polito's got a lot of work to do there because he's not at a good angle. He's uh, much more of a vertical threat. Nicely taken down by Daniel Shallowy to Polito. He picks out the right pass because Russell's in space. And he's got Zussi overlapping, and it's Johnny Russell who will cross it. Falls right to Daniel Shallowy, and he slams it in. 2 0 Sporting Kansas City, Daniel Shallowy. He's uh, much more of a vertical threat. Nicely taken down by Daniel Shallowy to Polito. He picks out the right pass because Russell's in space. And he's got Zussi overlapping, and it's Johnny Russell who will cross it. Falls right to Daniel Shallowy, and he slams it in. 2-0, Sporting Kansas City, Daniel Shallowy, right at 63 minutes into the game, has doubled the Sporting Kansas City lead. Mark, it's what we mentioned in the first half. It is exactly a, a script flipped from what happened a couple of weeks ago up in Kansas, where FC Dallas is having all the chances, but Sporting Kansas City is just doing a little bit more with whatever chances they're creating. This is a bad start for the Dynamo to continue to give corners away to Colorado. In it comes, and there's a header. It's 1-0. The Colorado Rapids. Lawless Abubakar has punished another slow start from the Dynamo here, conceding corners. This season, we've said so many times how important pace and bit. Huge moment here. Papa Pico, yes! It is 1 1 here in Houston. It comes on the stroke of halftime. It is a huge goal for Papa Pico. Talking about it from the 25th minute, how important it would be to get a goal. Papa Pico, so confident. It's Barrios. Shot is blocked. Oh full on there. By Sam Junker, who picks himself up. Here is Rubio. Here is Mark Anthony. K to the back post and Barrios will side foot it in. There is no flag up. And Michael Barrios, who has been such a pest for the Houston Dynamo over all these years. But this is this is good from Colorado. They just turned the the tables on the Houston Dynamo. Great position from Rubio. A great cross from Mark Anthony. Lewis, trusty. Well, it's a good pick out there from Trusty to Bassett. Bassett's got a runner on the far side of the field. It's Galvan. Oh, what a goal. He curled it in. What a hit from Brian Galvan. And the Colorado Rapids may have just iced it here at BBVA Stadium. Well, Dynamo just get caught out. As you mentioned, Glenn, this is a great pass into Bassett. And Bassett does the right thing to find Galvan. Math for Herrera. Listen. Menendez. Again, Beasler. Menendez again. And to the far post it in. Bobby Wood. The family is here and they are on their feet and ourselves in front.
Oh, his grandma, his mom, his wife, his little girl. From Bobby Wood. Service from Johnny. Bobby's in an off position. He rises up. He's in front of Julio Cascante.